Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about a little git problem where I accidentally make a commit on the main branch and I'm going to show you how to recover from that. Um, and we're going to, you know, have both scenarios, either you've already pushed or you haven't pushed and talk about the, uh, you know, <laughs> the side effects of that. Uh, but anyway, let's get started by cloning some git repository so I can demo this. Um, GitHub. Uh, we'll just use AST pretty. That one's, oops, great if I could spell it. <laughs> we'll just use AST pretty. It's a pretty easy one to get started with. So let's say that I was planning to build a feature for this project. And so I was working in this repository. Uh, let's maybe just, I don't know, add hello, hello world to this file. It doesn't really matter what we're doing. Um, and I didn't notice what branch I was on. I'm accidentally on my default primary branch uh, and I made a commit here. So let's say, I'll add whatever feature. And let's do the first scenario, which is that I've I've made this commit and I haven't pushed yet. So I haven't I haven't introduced this commit accidentally into my main branch. Uh, and so this is this is kind of the the safer and better form of this where you can actually hide all of your mistakes. Um, so what we basically want to do, if we do get status now, you'll see that we are on our main branch and we are one commit ahead of it. We don't want to commit directly to our main branch. We want to commit to a feature branch and make a pull request using that. Um, the easiest way to fix this situation is to just rename the default branch. And you can do that by doing git branch dash m with your branch name. So let's say we did dash um, feature branch. And this fixes our scenario almost, almost entirely uh, on its own. So now if I do get branch, you'll see we are on this special feature branch. If I do get status, you'll see that uh, this feature branch is tracking our default branch and it has that one commit. Uh, and if I want to switch back to master, I can do get checkout master and you'll see that master no longer has that one commit. So we have essentially taken that one commit and moved it to our feature branch, avoiding that push. Uh, now, I didn't know about this git branch dash m feature for the longest time, so I'll show you a longer way to achieve the same thing. Um, but this is a nice, you know, easy shortcut. So let's actually get us get ourselves back into the broken state. So I'm going to do that by uh, deleting the local master branch, and I am going to rename this branch back to master. Uh, so now if we look at git branch run master, if we look at git status, we have that one command. Um, so the way that I used to do this was I would check out the current commit uh, and create a branch from that. And you can do that by doing git checkout dash b feature branch. And so if you don't have a revision on git checkout, it will just take whatever you currently have checked out and make a branch from that. So if you do git checkout dash b feature branch, you'll see that we are now on feature branch. Uh, now this isn't tracking anything because we didn't give it an upstream. So I will usually track the upstream main branch by doing git branch dash u, which is set upstream uh, origin slash master. Um, and of course, if your default branch is main or dev or something else, you would use that. Uh, this is an old repository and I'm using an old version of git. So master is still the, the default, um, but I will be changing that. Um, so now that we have set the upstream and we do get status, uh, you'll see that we are in our state where we're one commit ahead. Now we actually have to do one other thing to make sure that we don't accidentally push that commit because it is still on our master branch, I think. If you get checkout master, yeah, you'll see master is still one, one commit ahead. So we have to actually reset master back to uh, its default, um, or the, the, the origins master. And you can do that by doing get uh, reset dash dash hard. Uh, hard is saying, I don't care about any of the commits that are here. Just discard them and put them back on, on what I want. Uh, origin slash master. And so now you can see the master branch has no commits ahead. And um, if we check out the feature branch, uh, that's one commit ahead and has our one special commit. So that's how I used to do this, but you can see that's like six or seven commands to get to that state, whereas just renaming the branch is a lot easier. Um, so let's talk about the worst scenario, which is where you have pushed to your uh, default branch instead of just, you know, committing it locally and you've already updated it on whatever your remote is, whether that's GitHub or Bitbucket or, or wherever you happen to store your code. Um, so you've accidentally committed directly to master. And you kind of have two options here. Um, let's actually make this scenario. Um, 
How do I do this without <laughs> screwing up one of my repositories? Uh, let's do git init um, our origin and uh, make a commit here. Who allow empty and I am to get clone origin to uh, fork. So this is, let's say that this is my local fork and you'll see I'm on the master branch and it has this commit from upstream. So let's say that I accidentally did dash m bar and now you can see that I am one commit ahead and that we pushed it. So if we did get push origin head, oh, we have to uh, make that repository allow us to push to it. <laughs> Uh, what is the config here? Receive dot deny current branch. Git config this false. Okay, so you can see that I have accidentally pushed over the remote, and if this were on GitHub, uh, you can see that oh, I've accidentally made this bar commit, um, and I want to undo that. There are two options to undoing it. One is you do a revert, uh, which will you know, roll back the change, but this commit will live on forever. The revert is, in my opinion, the safer way to do this because it doesn't involve rewriting history and it won't break people's existing checkouts if they happen to have cloned with this uh, commit already there. And the way to do that, oh, I actually need to make a change. Uh, let's say that we introduced a readme instead because uh, reverting a trivial commit does nothing. And read me, and we did get push origin head. Uh, so now you can see, like, this imagine this is GitHub. Okay, so we accidentally committed this straight to master. We didn't want to do that. Uh, the first option is to revert this commit, and you would just do that by doing get revert and whatever that commit is. So, um, you know, this uh, or head or, or whatever. And this is going to make a new commit on top of this one that undoes that change. So, this is, this is kind of a, a roll forward way to do this. Um, and so you can see now the log here is we added this and then we're like, oh, oops, I, I didn't mean to do that. Let's revert it. And then we can push up the revert. So now you can see here, uh, you know, we accidentally pushed to the main branch and then we reverted from the main branch. So this, this undoes our mistake. However, our mistake still lives on in the history. And so, you know, you might not want that. Uh, if you want to erase the history, what you can do is use the command that I showed earlier, which is a hard reset. Um, to the commit that uh, before your accidental change here. So if we wanted to reset hard back to this, uh, now you can see if we do get status here, we're two commits behind. We're actually going to erase these his these commits. We're going to do a force push to undo this history here. So we'll do get push origin head dash f, uh, and you can see now those two accidental commits or the the one accidental commit has been erased. Now at this point, uh, you'll probably want to make another feature branch. And uh, yeah, there's actually two ways you would go about this. One is, uh, let's say you want to continue developing on this here. So let's put it back into this state. Uh, get reset hard this. So let's say this is what we did upstream. Um, and I want to actually work on this commit and fix it up and get it finished. Uh, so let's make a branch here, origin master dash b feature so i'm going to check out a feature branch now you'll notice here that uh i can't get to this change directly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to revert the revert <laughs> and uh <laughs> at my previous company i was known for um anthony revert 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 because i i you know had to roll back or roll forward a lot of changes. But anyway, this is a revert of a revert. Um, so now that change is back on this feature branch and you can continue to improve it. So let's say, you know, we realized, oh, of course we don't want hello world. We want hello, hello world. Um, and then you do fix readme. In the other case where you've erased this history, what you can do instead is check out, uh, so let's actually erase the history again. Good, check out master, good. You set hard, I think it's one commit back. Yeah. So let's push that up now and you'll see the history here is now just these two commits. So if we wanted to reintroduce that commit, uh, what we could do instead is git checkout origin master feature two, um, just whatever feature branch name you want. And we can take that commit from before and we can cherry pick it. So we can take this commit and reapply it to this feature branch. So we can do git cherry pick this um, 
and that you know allows us to take this and then modify it so say we wanted to you know hello hello world here and fix it up there then we could in that feature branch but anyway that's uh that's how you can kind of undo an accidental commit on a default branch um as well as like <laughs> whether you pushed it or not and whether you want to force push or not uh, to resolve it. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.